So um, to practice what we just did, we are going to use the Anaconda Integrated Development Environment for this particular uh, um, video. So uh, we'd have to launch it. So you press your Windows key, then you type Anaconda, you have it here. So um, if you don't have the Anaconda uh, ID, you could watch. I made earlier videos on that, on how to install Anaconda for Python program. So an Anaconda has been launched and um, from there I only use Jupyter Notebook for this course in particular. So let's give it some time to get launched and then we take it from there. Okay, so remind me later. Okay, so there are different um, Python IDs. You have the Spider, you have Notebook, Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, you have Python, but for this particular video using Jupyter Notebook. So let's launch Jupyter Notebook from the side. So we just select launch. Okay, so um, we come to new here. These are basically directories that you could actually access um, using the Jupyter Notebook. So you, let's come to new here, then let's create a Python. Okay, so uh, we made mention of data types being the values of data that are stored in variables. Okay, so for this particular video, we'll be looking at the numeric data types as mentioned earlier. Okay, so we looked at three um, different um, numeric data types, the integer, the float, and then complex. So let's try declare some variables and then assign integers to them. Okay, so um, let's come here. All right, so let's create any variable of type uh, integer. Let's say a equals five. Okay, then let's come here and then let's print um, print. I want to use the type function. The type function actually helps us know the type of variable that we are using. So type uh, type a. Let's see what it says. So let's run here. It says that. A is of class uh, integer. Let's try another type. Uh, let's say A equals 5.8089 or something. Okay. Let's come here. Let's say point A. A, okay. Okay, let me change this to B. Oh, sorry. Thanks. It's not complete. Or print type, so print type B here, supposed to be B. So print type B, it tells us this is a float. So we've covered um, this, the integer, the float. Let's look at the complex, also complex numbers. So let's declare a variable type complex. So um, C is equal to, oh, sorry, C is equal to, uh, let's say 3 plus 4J. Let's come let's print, print, type, C, okay, let's print, type C, and let's see what it says, okay, it's telling us that the data type for this C variable is a uh, complex, okay, all right, so as mentioned earlier, in Python, okay, in declaring data types, Python automatically assigns the value of the data type, um, so you don't have to explicitly um, declare the data. You, you don't have to say in A before Python knows that this is an integer. Okay. The moment you 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 just write A because 5, Python knows that A here yeah, based on the value is considered as an integer. Okay. So that is it for um, numeric data types, variables. In our next video, I'm going to look at strings.